What's up everybody? How you guys doing? In this video, we are going to be unboxing the Jack Wolf Knives After Hours Jack. Decent amount of buzz and excitement for this one, partly because, I mean, it's a cool knife, but also this is their second knife that they've done that is a locking knife. So not a slip joint. We've got a frame lock. Um, at least my version is a frame lock. Some of the versions are bolster locks, technically. So we're going to unbox this thing. And to do the deed, I already actually took it out of the shipping box, so I guess I don't need to use this on camera to unbox it. <laughs> I could pretend, I guess. Uh, but this is the Gunslinger Jack. This was their first locking knife. Just got this one back from Knife Modders. They did some really cool work on it. I wasn't expecting them to do the lasering that they did, uh, but I really dig it. Normally, I just kind of give them like kind of an idea of of what I w w think might look cool, but I just tell them, you know, do whatever you want. Do what you guys think would look cool. I don't think there is anybody out there who does a better job with knife modifications than Richie B and Lindy Lou knife modders. They do such a great job. This last batch they did, that Gunslinger, uh, my Benny's clip, and uh, I'm trying to decide if I should show you this one or not. This one I think is probably my favorite, how it turned out. Look at that. Did such a good job with the laid back jack. I know I've said this before, probably, I think, unless I edited it out. Um, but I actually do mean it. Like, my favorite part about doing this channel and getting to check out a whole bunch of different knives, and a lot of the times they're, you know, samples, free knives. Not always, but, you know, a decent amount come through that are samples. My favorite part is getting to be a part of the Jack Wolf drops. Seriously, I consider myself so freaking lucky uh, to get to check these ones out. And I like slip joints. Not everybody likes slip joints, but that's what's so cool about the Gunslinger Jack and now the After Hours Jack is that they're not just doing slip joints. Modern interpretations, timeless designs. And I, and I think it's such a cool blend to do those traditional styles with a modern flipper. These come out on Friday, December 15th at 2 p.m. Eastern. Let's unbox the damn thing before I keep rambling. There's five versions. Looks like we got the jigged tie. We'll take a look at that in a second. I think the most popular version is probably going to be the Kiranite. What's it called? There's Toxic Green Kiranite, Jig Titanium, Fat Carbon Purple Haze, the Smooth Titanium with the Black DLC, all blacked out and the fat carbon frost. Let me know in the comments which version is your favorite. Let's open this bad boy up. Oh baby, I might have to censor this video. Adult content only. Look at that lucky Jack right there. The after hours Jack. Can't remember if I said it or not, but this is the locking version of the midnight Jack. The Gunslinger was the locking version of the Sharpshooter Jack. So instead of the Midnight Jack, we have the After Hours Jack. So there's kind of some nice uh, branding and continuity of the naming of these locking versions. First up in the Mountain of Swag is the Pog. I can't tell you how many freaking comments I get on TikTok anytime I do an unboxing. Is that a Pog? Yes, it's a Pog. All right. And it's freaking awesome. And lately, they've been throwing two stickers in here, which I think is cool. <laughs> the, other, the other comment I get on TikTok is about furries. That Jack Wolves are knives for furries. Which I don't agree with, and I'm not going to perpetuate that. But it's a funny comment that pops up quite a bit. Alright, we got the leather slip. Very nice. I don't know with the After Hours Jack, if, mo if more people are going to want to do slip carry. or um, just use the pocket clip, but it's nice that you have both options. It looks like this month we've got kind of the topish color shop rag. I really wish more manufacturers would either do something like this, give you an actual usable cloth um, that's like nice and big, or just don't give you one at all. Because like a lot of the ones you get are just like... Oh man, I didn't realize that the Jig Titanium had the blue 
pocket clip and backspacer. That's really cool. Anodized blue titanium pocket clip and backspacer. Nice deep carry clip. I think that's such a cool thing to do though, to do a nice full length backspacer that really uh, keeps the same style of the slip joints with the backspring. Keep that similar style and, and stay true to the pattern of the slip joint. But I think it just looks really cool to have that big chunk of shiny anodized titanium. I think it looks so freaking cool. This is kind of a, a dark bead blast titanium. Triple flutes on that faux bolster <laughs> area. Um, this pattern is a coffin barlow. On some of the other versions, you have that top barlow bolster with the inlay materials. Titanium hardware, titanium handle. It sounds like uh, even the pivot assembly is now titanium. I believe on the gunslinger jacket was steel, just the way it was designed. He did switch that over to titanium for people who are wanting to anodize the hardware. For deployment, there is a front flipper option and there's a long fuller on either side. Let's do that fuller flick first. Oh man, great first deployment. Let's do that again. And it should be good for lefties too. I can't do much of anything with my left hand, but, uh, but even I can do that. All right, let's do the front flipper. Really nice. I am kind of curious, like, if we would ever see a normal flipper or thumb studs on a Jack Wolf. My guess is probably not, just because I know how important it is. Oh, shit. For Ben to stay true to the pattern. Maybe if it was just like a new, completely new pattern that they haven't done before as a slip joint, I feel like it'd be easier for them to deviate and do um, a, no a normal, a standard flipper. Who am I thinking of? Finch Knife Co. They do some modern traditionals with a lot of flipper tabs, and I, I really like their stuff. Now let's keep rolling here, guys. This version with the jig tie has a hand satin finish. It's one thing I like about the hand satin is it doesn't pick up prints as easy. Not a big deal. It's a tool. For filming anyways, I, it makes it a lot easier to film when it doesn't pick up prints so easy. Sheep's foot blade. Really dig this blade shape. Going to be so nice for utility cuts, precision cuts. Hollow grind, of course. Nice looking swedge on there, too. S90V is the blade steel, one of the best steels for edge retention. These are really designed to be great slicers that'll keep that edge going sharp for a long time. Lockup is good, I'd say about 30% or so. And the centering, one thing I like about that backspacer, too, is catching a glimpse of it through the blade well. Oh, it just looks so freaking cool. Centering is right down the middle. By the way, sometimes like if you see on camera a knife that doesn't look centered, a lot of it can just be the camera angle. There's times I'll do TikTok videos, unboxing stuff, and people are like, oh, that was so off center. It's like, no, it was me. I was off centered, not the knife. <laughs> it's hard to get it lined up good. Nice factory edge. Blade length is 3.15 inches. Cutting edge is closer to two and three quarters. Overall length, about seven and a quarter. Handle length, just over four. Specs say 4.16. That's one thing I think people will like about the After Hours Jack 2 is you can definitely get four fingers on the handle. I like the jimping and the amount of jimping on here, and it is really grippy. does a good job of stopping you in your tracks more than adequate in the sharpening choil department. Blade stock thickness is about three millimeters, 0.12 inches, and it weighs, I'm gonna guess, about three ounces. Three ounces. I think the main issue that people might have with this is the price. Not to say that it's overpriced, but it is expensive. It's an expensive knife. I think they're worth it personally. I think you'll love it. They're knives that you can collect and own and use forever, basically. And there's a lot here with the materials and the craftsmanship, to me anyways, that justifies the price. If it's outside of your budget, go follow Jack Wolf Knives on Instagram. They do giveaways lately anyways. They've been doing a giveaway for just about every drop. Let me know what you guys think about the After Hours Jack. Sorry, this video is a little bit more rambly than normal. Thanks for watching, guys.
Merry Christmas. Stay sharp AF.